Hey y'all, it's Bree, and I'm back with another story time. Stop playing with me. Hey y'all, this story time is gonna be different because <sighs> your girl was kind of stuck on what to do. Okay. But I'm gonna tell y'all a good ass story and I'm gonna eat this food. So I hope it don't bother you. <laughs> y'all, who else love these shit? From Subway. Mm, mm, mm. So y'all, this is a Subway mukbang story time, okay? Woo! I'm excited. All right, so let me get into the story time, y'all. So we going back to University Tales, okay? And this story time, look at this sandwich, though. Mm, mm, mm. This story time is actually going to be about the time I had to fight with my damn roommates. Mm, mm, mm. So, y'all, I got my uh, Coca-Cola and I got my, my new Starbucks cup. Shout out to you, Champagne, if you watching. My sister got me this cup. And y'all, I be getting all these cups just to drink water, pop, and juice. Ooh. But let me get into it. So y'all. Yeah. I had a roommate when I was on campus. Well, sweet mate. If y'all watched the past story times, y'all know. I lived there this week. So, from the previous story time, and if y'all don't want to talk about it, it means you need to go back and watch it. But from the pre previous story time, I told y'all that it was these girls and it was, they was the DC girls, right? So it was two DC girls. So one of them, the one I was talking about, I'm gonna call her Slim, okay? Cause she was real, um, she was real Slim, shit. So Slim was real Slim, whatever. And then we had another friend that was from DC but she didn't live in our suite, y'all. She lived downstairs. So she lived like on the second or third floor or something like that. And we gonna call her Thick, cause she was thick. <laughs> so Slim is one of my roommates and Thick is one of our friends that's from DC, but she not a roommate, right? So y'all, we all, like I said, we be kicking it, doing stuff together. It was like Bad Girls Club. Like, we would be friends, then we would be beefing. Like, it was just weird as fuck in Bad Girls Club. Like, just Bad Girls Club. So, um, and one time in particular, Slim and Thick had got into it. Like, they was, the girls was fighting. They got into it real bad. We was all trying to get them to be back cool because we wanted to go do stuff together, y'all. And they just not, they was not having it. These girls, was they was fighting. They did not want to be friends no more. It was the end of the relationship. So I thought. <laughs> but anyway, so um, Slim would borrow like some of Thick stuff, like maybe a pair of shoes here or there or whatever. We was in college, so I feel like in college that was kind of acceptable to, you know what I'm saying? Swap out stuff like shoes or a accessory, a purse, something like that. So anyways, Slim had the part, the, the shoes from, from Thick, right? And when they fell out, Thick didn't even care about the shoes no more for a minute, right? Hold on. So y'all, um, Thick, Thick didn't even really care about the shoes, right? Cause she ain't even said nothing about them for a while. But then, one day she called Slim and asked her for the shoes, right? So Slim, like, she ain't getting shit from me. Like, you know, just like, like basically like, fuck her, she not getting me shoes. So then think like, 
why wouldn't why wouldn't she give me back my shoes? Or whatever, like they're my shoes. I let her borrow them. She being weird. So she texted me because I was in the same suite, like kind of like roommates with them, and asked me like, can you can you um talk to her? Like, can you ask her? Can I please have my shoes back or whatever? All right. So yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I'll ask her whatever because that's weird. Like, she don't gotta be petty. Excuse me, that was disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's funny because when I buy stuff like that's kind of heavy, even though I got flat bread, when I buy things that's kind of heavy, I'll be needing like a pop to burp. Am I the only one? Can't be. But anyways, y'all, so I'm like, why would she be being petty like that? Like, why wouldn't she want, you know, give you your shoes back? Like, I'm gonna talk to her because she just probably being petty. Like, I don't know. So, me over here minding my damn business, I get asked to ask her about the shoes. So, I asked her about the shoes, but I went to her room. She wasn't in the room at the time. She was actually, um, excuse me, she was actually texting me. Excuse me. Later on, I found out that she was in the room, and I guess she had left. I don't fucking know, but the girl was, the girl was not in her room when I went to go check. Okay? So, I, I, I text her like, well... Um, can you give Slim her shoes? I mean, thick her shoes back or whatever, Slim. Like, she really want her shoes. She trying to wear them to this party or wherever she was going. She needs her shoes. And, like, I don't think it's right for you to hold her her shoes hostage. That's kind of corny. Like, that's petty. So, she all like, no, she can't have the fucking shoes. So, I'm like, but that's real, that's real corny, though. So, y'all, she started getting fly with me and getting mad with me because I saw her that was corny. Even though we're not best friends, we're still roommates and stuff like that. I'm going, I'm the type of friend, I'm going to tell y'all guys when you're wrong. So, most people hate that shit. So, she all like, and this shit ain't even got nothing to do with you. And da 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 Like, just start talking crazy to me, right? So, I'm just like, why are you being weird to me? Why are you being weird to me? Like, all I'm trying to do is be real to you and be real to Thick. That's it. Y'all bitches really didn't even have to get me in the middle of this, to be honest. Like, <laughs> y'all could ask somebody else, but y'all asked me to basically be like a mediator between y'all and get the damn shoe. You know what I'm saying? Well, Thick asked me. And Slim was mad because she felt like I had nothing to do with it, which I didn't have nothing to do with it, but at the end of the day... That was corny, right? So, um, so y'all, she started talking all crazy to me and shit through text messages. Yeah, I'm, I'm only gonna be, I'm only gonna be so many bitches before I show you why you shouldn't call me a bitch. Like, <laughs> like really. So, I'm like, okay, this girl is tripping. So I'm I'm getting mad for real, for real, to be honest. Because like back then I felt like I was like a high head. Like now I'm not even like that. And I wasn't even like like high headed, just like beating up everybody. But I was fighting a lot because I feel like I was fighting for my respect. Like <laughs> I feel like I was fighting for my respect. I feel like people would look at me and they would treat me some type of way. Or if you didn't know me and you know what I'm saying, you just looked at me, you would just basically think I was soft or something. And I feel like I was really back back then I was fighting for my for my respect. And I was fighting, shit, cause bitch, you got me fucked up. Like, they had me fucked up. So anyways, y'all, she's talking crazy. And I'm like, all right, you doing too much. Like, where the fuck you at? Cause you ain't in that room. Cause I want you to keep the same energy that you got. You know what I'm saying? The same energy that you got through these text messages. Please make sure you had that same energy when we walked through this door. So y'all, the text messages is going crazy back between me and her. Like we going back and forth, back and forth. So my sister's sitting on the couch or whatever. And I, I'm i like, where you at? I'm texting her like, where you at? I'm pacing up and down in the, in the suite like, where is you at? Like, where is you at? Just tell me where you at so I can pull up. Well, walk up. But y'all know what I mean. I'm about to walk up on your ass. Like, where you at? So she all like, no, I'm not telling you where I'm at, where I'm at, da, 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 da. So now me and her is arguing. This really didn't even have nothing to do with me in the first place. I should have just fucking never did. I should have never said nothing. But whatever. So y'all... Um, she told me where she at, which was Hunter or Green. I forgot which one, but that was one of the boys' dorms. 
So y'all, I flew the fuck out of that damn dorm. I ain't even had no shoes on. So my sister like, cause she's sitting on the couch and she just see me run past out the door. So she's like, what the hell? So she she ran after me like, what is you doing? Where is you going? What's going on? Why you don't got no shoes on? Excuse me. So I'm like, because Slim talking crazy, you know she talking crazy, whatever she just told me where she at, I'm about to flip her, I'm about to beat her ass. You, you coming? So she like, of course, put on some shoes though. You tripping, like you just gonna run out and not even have no shoes on? Like what is wrong with you? So I'm like, you're right, you're right. So y'all, I go put my shoes on. <clears throat> Excuse me. I go put my shoes on or whatever. And me and uh, my sister, we walk over to the boys dorm. On our way to the boys dorm, y'all, this girl is still texting, talking crazy. She talking greasy, like just talking crazy. So I'm, I'm getting even more irritated because I'm just like, why do you keep, like, you've been felt like this type of way. Like, it was a little tension and stuff, like I said, about, like, stupid shit, like, toilet paper, um, soap, things of that sort. Like, but it wasn't, like, no big, big issue between, like, me and the DC girls. So I was confused as to where all the hostility was coming from. It must have been built up at this point, like, so anyway, we get in front of Hunter or Green, whichever one. I think it was Hunter though. We get in front of Hunter and I'm just standing outside in front of Hunter like, and I'm texting her like, come outside. I keep calling her. She keep hanging up, playing, laughing, thinking it's a game, thinking it's a game, right? So I'm like, girl, ain't nobody playing with you. Come your ass outside. Like, come outside right now. So next thing you know, she come outside, but she ain't come outside by herself. She came outside with uh, two of our other friends or whatever. So she come outside with them and they just standing there looking at me and I'm just standing there looking at them like what? So next thing you know, I just walk up on Slim. Back up. Me and Slim fighting. Y'all, we rolling around on the ground. Dudes is out there because we in front of the dudes dorm. I'm like, oh my God. Like, but at that point, it was no turning back for me because girl, you did too much. Like, I don't give a fuck if I stay in some fight. And I'm, I'm glad I don't have no, no beef like that now. But back then, it was on site. So, yeah, though. So, me and her are all rolling around on the ground and, like, pulling each other's hair. Just a whole bunch of crazy stuff or whatever. And um, we ended up getting up. <coughs> Excuse me. We ended up getting up um, after the fight. And I was just like, like, we was just talking talking shit to each other. Like, yeah, bitch. And, and we walked away. Like, bitch, fuck you. Da, 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 you know. Ah, like a whole bunch of arguing, arguing shit. And then we walked away or whatever. And um, I went home to my dorm and everything was cool. She came in a couple hours later. I didn't say shit to her. She ain't say shit to me. Then like a couple days later, we didn't really like talk to each other, but we like, we wasn't like beefing, I guess. Like it just, it was weird. Like <laughs> we wasn't beefing. Cause at the end of the, at, I already didn't fought you. It ain't no point of me beefing with you no more. And we ain't about to be best friends either, but we ain't, we don't really got no problem. You get what I'm saying? Well, yeah, that's the story time about how I had to fight one of my roommates. Jesus fix it. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't really eat that much um, while I was talking because I don't know how y'all be doing it. Like, smacking on a whole piece of chicken and talking. Like, when, I, when I'm chewing something in my mouth open, I just kind of feel like that's a little nasty. I don't know. I'm going to have to work on that. But thank y'all so much for watching. And y'all already know I got to go. So peace.